Hello again, my friends. I'm so happy to be back with you guys again. It has been a while. I hope you guys have been doing amazing. So today's social emotional learning lesson is on managing embarrassment. What does the word embarrassment mean? How do we feel when we're embarrassed? Okay, I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to think about that. What type of feeling is embarrassment? Yes, good job. Usually if we do something like slip or fall, we feel real timid inside and scared and nervous. Like, oh my gosh, who saw me? Is someone going to make fun of me? Yes, embarrassment. But how do we manage that? Meaning, how do we control that feeling? Because we are human. It is life. And trust me, we are going to have so many embarrassing moments. I'm sure you guys have had some. I've had some as well. And I felt super, super embarrassed when I wish I could just crawl under a rock and no one would see me slip or fall because I have done that before. But we have to learn how to deal with it. We have to manage it. So in this lesson, we will be learning about how to manage our embarrassment. Because remember, we're human and we are going to have embarrassing moments. And that's okay. We just have to learn how to deal with them. So, who's ready to learn about managing our embarrassing moments? All right, let's get started, friends. So, in our past lessons, we have learned about different types of feelings, which could be happy, sad, depressed, all different types of feelings. So, embarrassment comes in with that as well. Now, I want to see, give me one clap if you guys have been through a time where you guys have felt embarrassed about something. It could be anything. Maybe a teacher called on you and asked a question and you got it wrong, or maybe you didn't know how to spell a word in class, or maybe you were reading out loud and you mispronounced a word, or even maybe on the playground. You could have slipped and fell. There are many things that could happen to us that we might feel embarrassed about. So I want to give you guys a few seconds. I'm going to put on my timer. And I want you guys to think about a time where you guys had an embarrassing moment. But, yes, I want to know about the moment, but I want to know how you guys solved that moment. What did you do? How did you guys make yourself feel better in that embarrassing moment? Okay? So get ready. I'm going to put on my timer, and then you guys are going to share with me. Ready, set, go. Start thinking. Alrighty, friends, so let's go ahead and take some time, and I want to hear what you guys have to share. Remember, when did an embarrassing moment happen to you, and how did you get over that embarrassing moment? Okay, go ahead and share. Yes, you guys did a fantastic job on sharing all your experiences. There are many of you that even said you felt embarrassed in class because you didn't know an answer. And there were times where even some of you guys maybe a trip to have fallen on the playground or weren't able to play a game because you just didn't know how. And that's okay. It's okay to have these embarrassing moments because remember, we're human. And what I liked, some of you knew how to handle the situation, and there were some who didn't, and that's okay too, because we're learning how to manage these situations and how to make ourselves feel better when these things do happen to us. So, now that you guys have shared the moments that were embarrassing to you, how did you guys feel inside? Remember, feelings are inside of us. So when you felt embarrassed, what did you feel like inside? I'll give you guys a few seconds, okay? Good job, you guys. Yes, a lot of you guys said your heart was pounding 
fast, you felt really anxious and maybe hot. Yes, these are all different types of feelings when you feel embarrassed. That's exactly how you guys feel. I know when I've had some incidents where I didn't know a question on a test and my professor called on me and I felt inside like, oh my goodness, how can I just disappear because I don't know the answer. My heart was beating fast and I just felt like the time would never ever end. But I didn't know the answer, but I told my professor, I'm struggling with this topic and I'm not understanding the answer and I cannot come up with the answer, but I would really appreciate it if maybe I could get some extra help after class. So with me expressing that, that I didn't understand, you know how many other people in my class felt the exact same way? I opened up other people's feelings. Then I had multiple classmates responding that they didn't know the answer either. And they were a little confused about the question as well. So when you're open about your feelings, there might be someone else that feels exactly the same way, which is why it's so important, you guys, to open up, express your feelings, and let others know what's going on. Because remember, when I was in class, I felt embarrassed because I didn't know an answer. And I expressed how I felt, and my other classmates were on the same page as me. So this could happen to you guys in class as well, but some are too scared to speak up and say, and that's okay. So remember, we are always going to have an embarrassing moment to happen to us. It might not happen as often as someone else, but we will experience embarrassing moments. We just know how, we have to know how to manage them. So now that we have shared some of our moments and how we fixed how we felt, now it is time for our story time. So get ready for our story and discussion. All right, guys. So right beside me is our friend Tina. And who remembers her from last week? All right. That means you guys were paying attention. So Tina has a very, very strong feeling inside that we like to call embarrassment. So... When we're embarrassed, that means it's a strong, strong feeling and we just don't know what to do. So the reason why she has this feeling inside is because her friend just told her that her shirt was on backwards. Yes, her shirt is on backwards and that could be a big deal, you guys. But her first thought was, Oh my gosh, how many people have seen me and my shirt was on backwards and no one told me? Oh my gosh. So she's stressing about this. This is going on in her mind. Her stomach's hurting, her heart's beating fast, and she does not know what to do right now. First things first, she fixes her shirt. But how is she going to fix this feeling inside? What should she do? Yes, she needs to just be brave and say, you know what? I was in a hurry this morning. Thank you so much for telling me. My shirt was on backwards, but I will fix it. Because maybe some people didn't even notice. And I'm sure that's happened to other people too. Or like your shirt being inside out or a tag still on it. It happens, guys, because we all get new clothes, right? Or sometimes... We just put on a shirt real fast and we don't even realize it's backwards. It's okay. But yes, this is the strong feeling Tina has inside because her shirt is backwards. So even though Tina can fix the shirt, how is she going to fix her feelings inside? Because she wants to go run and hide under a rock right now. So how is she going to fix her feelings? Yes, maybe first take a deep breath, count to 10, use some self-talk, and tell yourself, calm down, chill out, it's okay. And by you saying that, it's going to trigger your mind to say, okay, I am okay. I am calm, and I'm okay. My shirt was just on backwards. These are some key words to help Tina, and even yourselves, and even myself, when we feel embarrassed because 
Once an embarrassing moment happens, we cannot take it away. We just learn how to, we just have to learn to deal with it, move on, and make ourselves feel better. So number one, using self-talk is so important. We gotta talk ourselves down, reassure ourselves that it's okay. It's okay. Calm down and take a deep, deep breath and just breathe. And everything will go back to normal. Okay, friends, so we've talked about our embarrassing moments. We've also heard about Tina's with her backward shirt. Now I wanna play a little game with different scenarios of embarrassing moments and how you guys would react. Are you guys ready? All righty, so first one. Think about it, we're at school in the cafeteria and we are eating our lunch and you spill juice all over your pants. What are you gonna do? What is your first reaction? Think about it, give you guys about five seconds and then you guys will share, okay? Okay, go ahead and share. Yes, I heard a lot of different responses and that's okay. Some of you might have like screamed because you guys got scared or some of you felt really embarrassed or you guys might have had a few tears. That's okay because that is embarrassing. But what should we do? What should we tell ourselves when this could happen? Remember, we have to use self-talk so we can tell ourselves it's okay. It's just juice. It's okay. I can go to the office, call home, and get some new pants. Problem solved. We're talking ourselves down, maybe taking a deep breath, counting to 10. Good job. So let's go ahead and do another scenario. So you just got a haircut and you love your haircut. And you're so excited to show everyone at school. But when you get to school, some of the kids are making fun of you. What happens? Yeah, you're gonna feel embarrassed because you are super excited. But the kids at school are being very nice. What do you do? Okay, I'll give you guys a couple seconds and then we'll share, okay? Start thinking. Good job, you guys. Yes, you could tell those friends, well, they're not friends if they're doing that. You could tell those other students, you could say, hey, I like my haircut. And if you don't like it, that's okay too. We don't have to agree. So that's something you could tell the person who was not being very nice, but what kind of self-talk could you tell your mind? Yeah, you could say, it's okay, I love my hairstyle. Or, okay, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna count to 10 and we're just gonna walk away. So these are some different things that could help you. And you know what? Some things might help for one person and they might not help for another. And that's okay too. These are some just ideas that will help us through managing our embarrassing moments. Because remember, like I said, we are going to have things happen to us that are embarrassing. It's life. We're human. But that's okay. We're just learning how to manage them, cope with our feelings, make ourselves feel better, use some self-talk when things happen to us, and we have to boost our self-esteem back up. So this concludes another social-emotional learning lesson on managing embarrassment. I hope you guys learned so much today, and I hope you guys know how to manage your guys' feelings when something embarrassing does happen, because remember, we're human. It will happen. We just have to learn how to make our feelings feel better. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye guys.